Hi everyone, Dr. Mack with another video. For all of you who are new to my channel, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Murtaza McDoom. A lot of people know me as Dr. Mack. I am a general and cosmetic dentist based in Australia. And I went through my journey being an overseas dentist, coming to Australia, passing the Australian Dental Council exam, and then helping people out. And I teach as well now. So giving you basic information about how to do the Australian Dental Council, what's the information required, and then useful um, course information along with some knowledge as well that you get, rather it being composite, rather than being crown preps and your technical task along with your technical OSCEs, communication OSCEs. So you'll get a lot of useful information on my page as well. Today's video, we are talking about just a breakdown of the Australian Dental Council exam. So you can call it as a pathway. So if you've done BDS from overseas and now you're pursuing your journey being a dentist in Australia, this video is exactly for you. We'll be discussing what the parts are and how you should be uh, targeting the ADC journey. Uh, if you have not seen the other videos in my channel, if you have questions and queries that a lot of people have different questions they mind, I have frequently asked questions videos on my page as well. You can go and watch it. Their first one, which is a 10 frequently asked questions, I can always link the description of this below as well. You can find it on my YouTube channel. There's two other videos that I did, part one, part two. That was again, like, you know, the next one, which I did the frequently asked questions. So a lot of people message me on Instagram and I will put my Instagram handle as well. That's I've mentioned in the past as well, that if you want to ask some question or you have query, that's the best way to reach me. Instagram, DM me, and then I would help people when they message me that, you know, I've done this, 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 this. Now I need your help. Tell us if you can guide us and I'll be happy to help someone who's done their homework. So go back to my other videos and you'll get a lot of information. Australian Dental Council exam. What is this exam? This is an equivalency exam or a license exam for an overseas dentist, wherever they've done it, like wherever you are from around the world and we've done your BDS and you want to pursue a journey in Australia being a dentist, this is your go-to Australian Dental Council exam. This is a license or equivalency exam. After passing this exam, you can work as a dentist in Australia. Now, if we divide it into parts, the first part or the first thing that you need to do is register yourself an account on the Australian Dental Council website, which is the ATC Connect, and do the registration process in which basically you're doing an initial assessment. It can vary, it can go from somewhere between three to six months, sometimes even longer, depends on where you're applying and if they need any extra documentations, everything is on the Australian Dental Council website, okay? So you have to do an initial assessment first in which basically Australia is checking if your degree is valid, if you've actually done a valid five years BDS or a four year BDS, you have the experience and that's what they basically check and they say, yes, this is a genuine person. They have genuinely done BDS. You are eligible to sit down. So the first thing or the first part is your initial assessment, which is very important. A lot of people ask me this question that, you know, if I have some experience, only then I can sit in the exam. If I have no experience, you can again, I detailed, um, detailedly explain all that in the frequently asked question videos, but you don't need any experience. Even if you have no experience, that's fine. This is, they consider you as a fresh graduate that coming out from the university. So if you've done a five years bachelor's degree in, in dental surgery or BDS, or four years, five years in your country, you are basically eligible, but you'll have to go through the process, do the initial assessment, then you can move forward. Now, when you move forward, what's the next thing? It's your written exam or the theory exam, they call it. Australia keeps changing the patterns, which is quite normal every four to five years, it does it generally every five years. So I think there's a recent change. If you have, 
if you need information about how to start your part one journey, I recently did a detailed, I think 50, 50 plus minutes long video. We can share the link of this and you'll find it in my YouTube channel. Go and watch it. It'll be helpful for you. So second thing, what you need to do, you need to do the written exam. Again, you can book it through ADC Connect online. You will be able to get all the information on the Australian Dental Council website. So if you do the Australian Dental Council website, have a look. It should be, you should be able to, you know, get all the information. Uh, a lot of people are worried about the cost as well. Generally, the initial assessment is $600. The theory exam, which is a part two, which is basically the second part, which is your theory exam is $2,000. And you can check this on the ADC website. I did a budget video in it, how much money is required to do the Australian Dental Council exam. So if you want to exactly know how much budget, you can go watch that video. Again, I will put the link in the description below if I can. Uh, it's in my YouTube videos. How much money do you need for the do the ADC exams in total? It with the initial assessment, theory, practical, everything, you will get that information in there as well. Once you pass your theory, now with theory, it's done twice a year. You can you have to wait until your initial assessment is done, and then you can book it through the or the online portal. You, I think the ADC Connect, in which you can actually book the date. It happens. Excuse me. It happens on in all the cities in Australia, the theory exam. It I, I think it happens in Dubai as well. Abu Dhabi or Dubai, it happens there as well. So a lot of people who if you're from Bangladesh, India, Pakistan, and they can't go come to Australia all the way to do their theory exam, you can do it in Dubai. You have to double check it, but the theory exam happens there as well. Um, I think previously it was happening in Pakistan and India as well, but for some reason, I think they stopped. Or I think it's still happening in India still. Uh, I have to double check that. I think you have to double check that. But in Dubai, I'm 100% sure it's happening. Dubai or Abu Dhabi, it's happening there in UAE. So uh, all the cities in Australia are there. You have to you have to book it online and you go. It's a um, computer-based exam. It's a two days exam divided into four papers. Again, as I said, I've mentioned that a bit more detail in my part one video. So if you need details on that, please have a look at the video. Uh, two days exam, four papers. First day you get two exam and the other day you get two exams. It's a pay, it's an MCQ based exam. They're trying to get more into the practical scenarios now, testing your knowledge. Uh, once you've done the theory exam, now it comes to the practical exam or the clinical exam, which is the toughest apart from comparing all the other ones. First, it's a lengthy one. It needs more work to train. You definitely need a course. Someone guide you exactly. You need proper guidance to do this exam. At the same time, it's a bit expensive as well, comparatively. The cost for doing the part two exam, just the fees is four and a half thousand. And then they might change the fees in the future. So check the Australian Dental Council website. But last I checked, it was four and a half thousand. And then you'll have to do some courses. You have to make your home set up. So all that, that's why I detailed all that cost outline in the video that you'll be able to see the budget video. The, two, the practical exam might be one of the ones that will take you the longest and it's one of the toughest out there. Once you do the practical exam, then what you have done is that means you have passed the part one, initial assessment, part one, part two, which is three combined together. You are qualified now. That's all you need to do. The last thing, which is the fourth thing we do is we do the registration, which is with APRA, Australian Health Practitioners Regulation Agency, APRA. Once you've done the practical exam, passing it, you will get the results and then you do your registration with APRA. Now, previously, ADC was asked, telling you to do the English exam first before sitting in the practical. So before you sit in the practical exam, you need to show them the English result, IELTS or PTE. But now they've changed uh, the pattern. Now what they're basically saying is you can, you can do the, pass the ADC exam and then do the English exam before applying for your registration. Registration generally takes somewhere between I would say six to 12 weeks. Yes, it takes some time that longer, 
because they will check your police certificate, uh, your criminal record check and all that things um, along with your experience certificates, your ADC result and everything. And then they will give you the registration. It sometimes takes longer because they have to do a lot of assessment. As I said, the criminal check, the police check, your previous records, your result is fair and you know it's genuine and all that. But once you do it, it just takes time and then it's done. I think the registration generally, I think is 700 something, the fees, and you have to do it every year. So even if you pass the exam in September, you have to do the registration and then you have to do the registration again in November. But to do it, basically that's how it works. You have to do it every year. 700 plus is the fees to do the registration. Um, and that, that's basically it. So if you're an overseas dentist and you want to pursue the Australian Dental Council exam, the license exam to be registered as a dentist, working as a dentist here in Australia, then this is what you need to do. You need to do the registration first, then you need to do the part one exam, then you need to do the practical exam, which is a part two exam. Once you finish, you do your registration with opera. Once you've done the four things, you are registered, you can work as a dentist in Australia. Now, a lot of people ask me this question is, will I get a job after passing the exam? Trust me, and I've shared it in my frequently asked questions video in detail. Go and watch it. Tell me one person, and I'll be very honest with you. Tell me one person who passed the ADC exam. Excuse me. Tell me one person who passed the ADC exam and didn't get a job. Tell me one, I don't know even a single one. You get a job. There are so many jobs available. Yes, if you go and pick it up and say that, oh, actually I want to stick in Sydney and this part of Sydney, I don't want to go anywhere else, then it's difficult. But if you can say, I've just come from overseas, I need a good job, I need my permanent residency or any, you know, the after the registration, I'm gonna stay in Australia and I can go anywhere, there are so many jobs available. But if you're one of those picky people, you know, I have to, I need to stay in Brisbane and even in Brisbane, I will stick in this part, then it's difficult. But still, tell me one person who came to Australia after passing ADC exam and did not get a job. Everyone has. So that means their job's available. There are a lot of people who will demotivate you and tell you the oh, difficult exam, it doesn't happen. Everyone's journey is diff different. Everybody has sh sh like, you know, shared their journey. So do not 100% run on people's journey. Your journey may be diff different and even more difficult or a bit easier, but it's a difficult exam. It's not an easy exam, but if you work hard and put in all the effort, you can pass it. So this is the pathway. If you're an overseas dentist and you want to come to Australia, this is a path we need to follow. Once you do that, you are a registered dentist in Australia and you'll get your life started here. Hope that video has been helpful. If you know anyone that who will, who can find this um, video helpful, share this video with them so more people can get benefit out of it. At the same time, I always say, if you have queries, you're stuck at something, my Instagram would be the best area to, or the best way to contact me, DM a detailed voice message or a detailed message telling me what hard work you have done in the past, what's your homework, what have you done and where are you stuck that you need, I can help you. But if you ask me, I need to help with ADC exam, then just go on my YouTube, I have a lot of videos available. But I, I, I get along with that one person who have done all the work, they tell me I've done this, 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 Dr. Mack, and I just need help with this one thing, I would be more than happy to help you. So my best wishes for all of you and we'll see you in the next video. Take, take good care, God bless you.